Good morning and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be sharing my solo mommy morning routine as a mom of two kids, two and under. For those that are new here, my daughter Raylene is two years old and my son Layton is seven months old. My husband usually leaves the house at 5 a.m. for work, so it's just me most mornings during the week. I usually like to wake up between 5 to 6 before the kids do, especially Ray since she's an early riser and rarely sleeps past 6.30. My son is still a baby, so his schedule right now is a little inconsistent, like today he woke up at 4.15 in the morning. So it's kind of hard to see right now since it's still very dark at this time, but Ray started co-sleeping with us again ever since Layton joined the family. And I've tried several times to put her back in our room, but no success and I'm too tired to try again. So I went into Layton's room to change his diaper, nurse him, and then put him back down. The whole process took about an hour and I didn't film this part since I kept his room dark the entire time so he can go back to sleep. So the first thing I do when I head downstairs is chug a ton of water and I find that this helps me feel very refreshed and awake and also very important to stay hydrated since I'm still nursing right now. So I was actually supposed to make a simple pasta dish last night to pack for Ray's lunch today but Layton kept waking up several times early on in the night and I couldn't get anything done last night but I did prep everything like all the ingredients and set out all the pots and pans in preparation for the morning. I will also be preparing some sweet potatoes for Layton. For lunch today, yes, I know it's crack of dawn right now to be making lunch, but Raylene will not eat leftovers or like anything repeated in the same week. So I try to pack her something new for school every day. But what I'm making is really, really, really simple. It's just a pasta dish with like ground beef, onions, garlic, a dash of soy sauce, and a little bit of sugar in it. And uh, I'm using our favorite Rouse marinara sauce with some extra dry parsley. So sometimes we eat this with spaghetti noodles, but I'm trying out this chickpea rotini noodles instead for extra protein. So lunch is taken care of, and that's one less thing I need to do later. And just as I was about to start on breakfast, Ray is awake and is calling for me. Good morning. Go potty and brush your teeth. Ray's morning routine is to go potty right away since she does not wear diapers overnight anymore. Then brushes her teeth and I help moisturize her entire body. Both my kids have eczema so I have to make sure to moisturize them thoroughly to prevent flare-ups. I usually pick out Ray's outfit the night before, but she didn't want what I picked out and picked this out herself. Whatever makes the toddler happy. Since Ray woke up before I can make breakfast, she already raided the pantry for snacks. Um, but that's okay. <laughs> For breakfast, I'm um, using Trader Joe's pumpkin spice pancake mix. This is actually Ray's favorite. Um, it's really simple. It just adds some melted butter, milk, and egg to it. Then I'm using these cute cookie cutters to make her pancakes and heating up some frozen chicken sausage. So since Layton is still asleep, I was able to eat breakfast with Ray and have a cup of coffee. It's not always like this, you guys. Sometimes they both wake up at the same time and there are days I don't eat anything until like the afternoon. So 
really just depends on the day. But nothing fancy for my coffee today. I usually just grind the beans first and then brew it into this thermal coffee carafe, which keeps the coffee warm for the next couple of hours, which is great because as a mom, I either have to heat up my coffee several times or drink cold coffee. <laughs> I'm also trying out this plant-based creamer, which is honestly not my favorite, but of course I'm still going to use it because I'm not going to waste it. Skipping the sugar today because I usually do one or the other in my coffee. For Ray's lunchbox, I am packing some veggie sticks, animal crackers, blueberries, baby bell cheese, bunny grams, and the pasta I just made, which I forgot to film the fully packed lunchbox since Layton woke up. <laughs> Hold on, you turn it off. Okay. So I've been using the changing table less and less these days because the kids love to interact with each other when they first see each other in the mornings and Layton does not stay still for diaper changes anyway. So once again, I moisturize him all over and treat his eczema areas. Uh oh, my crown! Good, my Hi, big yo! Hi, big yo! Hi, big yo! YouTube! Uh -oh. I got a burger. You got a burger? Where? Oh, you got an eye booger? Okay. I'll get it. I thought I washed your face. I'm gonna get it again. Hi! Hi, baby you. Hi, YouTube. I can't believe it. Oh, he cried out of me. Socks on. I pull it. You pull it. Now it's my turn to get ready, which I get about five minutes to get ready to just quickly change and brush my teeth. I don't wear makeup on a daily basis. All I do is quickly moisturize my face, fill in my eyebrows a little, and brush out my lash extensions, which I'm actually very overdue for a new set right now. But I love having lash extensions. It makes me feel so good, especially since I don't have time to wear makeup these days. For Layton's breakfast, I am mashing up some banana and spreading this on some toast with a little bit of cinnamon on top. Then after he's done with breakfast, he'll go in his walker while I pack things up to take Ray to school. After dropping Ray off, I do a quick grocery run for a few ingredients that I need. For quick errands with Layton, I love using this Tush Baby carrier, which I want to share with you all. So a huge thank you to Tush Baby for gifting us this carrier. We love it and have used it so many times already. This carrier is like a fanny pack with a ton of pockets, which is so convenient. And it also helps hold a baby to shift the weight off your arms and back. I do like using my traditional carrier, but Layton has his limits being restrained for a while and prefers to be carried on the side like this. This will also be much easier for quick ups and downs when he starts standing and walking. And you can carry them four different ways, in breastfeeding position, on the side 
face-to-face -face for younger babies and also the front-facing position. So I'm really excited to bring this with us when we travel soon. I can see this being super useful to board flights and wait in those long Disney World lines. This carrier also looks so chic and they come in a variety of colors. It's really easy to strap on and very universal for anyone to use if you want to switch off with like your spouse, siblings, or grandparents. I also made an Instagram reel on this recently if you follow me there. But if you're interested in getting your own Tush Baby carrier, use promo code Tina Slayer for 15% off your purchase. I'll also link the information below in the description box. So after our grocery run, we are back home for a nursing session and also for Layton to take his first nap. His first nap in the morning is usually just a cat nap, about 30 to 45 minutes. He takes a longer two to three hour nap in the afternoon. So for his cat nap, I usually just let him sleep here on the couch and um, he sleeps in his crib for his second nap. And don't worry you guys, I am literally right here and I can see him the whole time. So while he's napping across the room, I'll eat some pasta as my very early morning lunch and I'll also be finishing Ray's leftovers from breakfast. Then I just tidy up the kitchen and run the dishwasher. Layton sleeps through all the noise I make in the kitchen. I have a portable white noise machine on the couch, but I also like for him to nap down here sometimes to kind of get used to all the noises, especially when we can't be home during a nap session. So the sweet potatoes are cool now and I simply just peel the skin and blend them into puree consistency and mix it with my breast milk. So I store some in small containers to eat soon and freeze the rest in the silicone pods. Good morning! Oh! Peek-a-boo! peek, -a -boo. peek -a -boo. <laughs> Did you have a good nap? No. No scratching your head, bud. You ready for some lunch? Are you ready for some lunch? Yeah? You ready for lunch? Yeah? Time for lunch! <laughs> You want the stretchy, stretchy? Stretchy, stretchy. Oh, yeah. Stretchy, stretchy, stretchy. Mmm. 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 Here, I load the spoon again for you. Like lunch? Whoa, you're so fast. So after some playtime, I head upstairs to do some laundry and make the bed. I used to make the bed right after waking up before having kids, but now. I don't get to it until noon, but better late than never. So we're just going to hang out here for a bit and then Layton will be ready for his next nursing session and second nap around 1 p.m. That's all I have for you guys this morning. Thanks so much for tuning in. My kids were seriously on their best behavior today. Maybe because they know they're being filmed, I don't know, but we definitely have rough mornings sometimes with meltdowns and all that. So I just wanna let y'all know that today happened to flow very well. Well, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more motherhood and lifestyle content. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video.